Hey guys, before I get this video started, I wanted to give you just a real quick explanation. Now I know that there are other people that have done videos on this, but uh, there's at least one thing that I've never seen anyone uh, comment on. I don't know if it's a secret about the car or what, but it's definitely an interesting piece of information related to the steering wheel ECU, which is a circuit board located right here. So you're definitely going to want to watch the video all the way through. This isn't just replacing the steering wheel. There's some good technical information for you. But again, it's a little segmented. You'll notice that I changed my shirt midway through the video because it was shot on different days. But I think you'll get a kick out of it. So let's get into it. Hey guys, so obviously today I removed the steering wheel and um, show you what's inside. So it, it's actually a very simple uh, process to remove the steering wheel. And uh, so, yep, let's go ahead and dig into it. All right, now the first step to removing the steering wheel, I've got an, a second steering wheel here, is you need a couple of Allen wrenches or just uh, steel uh, probes of some sort to push into these holes. There's two on the steering wheel, one on each side. And what they do, let me put one in here, they release springs on both sides of the steering wheel that release the airbags. So again, on the back side of the steering wheel, there's one hole here and one hole here. The steering wheel's like that, so they correspond in this dimension there. So that's the first step. To removing the steering wheel so let's go ahead this is a second steering wheel that i purchased off of ebay and uh side note i've been buying used steering wheels to modify and this one i don't know that it's ever been used at all it still smells brand new there's absolutely no wear marks on it whatsoever so i may keep this particular steering wheel completely stock uh, to put back on my car. I don't know if it shows up clearly on the video or not, but uh, this um, this leather is a different shade uh, than in color than my original wheel. And my wheel is, it looks like it's just worn slick, but uh, even if you go behind the wheel where my hand isn't isn't sliding, there's there's no texture. It's just very smooth. This is textured. So it might also be that this is from a later car and mine's earlier, but I really like this wheel better than my original. So I'm gonna keep this one totally stock and modify other wheels. So anyway, so let's go ahead and remove the airbag and I'll show you how to get the wheel off of the steering column. So again, we've got my two Allen wrenches to use as probes here. Locate these holes back of the steering wheel and push in and you see the airbag came loose. There we go, and it's plugged into a harness in the back. Now, for safety reasons, it's best to power the car off when changing the wheel. So um, you can disconnect the, um, the battery from underneath the frunk and the harness from under the back seat, uh, or you can, you can also just go in here and hit power off, and that powers the system off, and then you can work on the car safely. Unlock that, the airbag from the harness, and that can be set aside. Now, once you're in here, there's another harness that you need to remove. So, and that is a harness for all of the, uh, for the steering wheel controls here. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that. There we go. Now there is a bolt here and that is a 10 millimeter Allen. And I got this 10 millimeter Allen socket. Uh, in case you're wondering, I got this at Harbor Freight. So that goes right into that bolt on the steering wheel and it's pretty tight. So you really have to lean on it to get it loose. So there's that bolt there. We'll set that aside. And now the steering wheel comes off just by wiggling it. You wiggle it and pull and there's the steering wheel removed. And uh, there's the bare steering column. So now we'll go into the shop and I will disassemble the wheel and show you what's inside. Now, once you've got the steering wheel removed from the car, uh, it you, you have to disassemble it. Now, it would seem as though these plastic pieces here would snap off, but they don't. 
they're held on with four torque screws. That's another thing. The, the majority of, of uh, Tesla fasteners are Torx, and all of them on the steering wheel. The first thing you need to do is remove this, this carriage that the uh, airbag snaps down to. So you do that by flipping it around, and you have to release these plastic tabs. So what I do here is use needle nose pliers, and you just push down on these, you kind of squeeze in and push down, and, and they all release very easily. Flip the wheel back over, and now this carriage is loose. And once that carriage is loose, you can get to these four Torx screws. So I'll remove those now. Now once you've removed those four screws, this whole plastic assembly can come off. And that is just sort of snapped in. And you can, what you can do is get underneath and pop it up. And same with these sides here. You just kind of kind of tug, get your fingers under the edge, and lift, and this, this whole plastic assembly comes out, and then you have the raw wheel. And again, here are these release wires that release the, um, the airbag from the wheel. So, and I'll show you this. This is the control uh, section here. And on the back side of this control section, you've got the thumb wheel controls here and this, <clears throat> this box. Now that box is a, um, that is the steering wheel electronic control or ECU. I know because I took the box off already and took it apart. The circuit board says steering wheel ECU. Now reassembly goes obviously the reverse of my, uh, of the removal. I'm going to go ahead and install this nicer wheel uh, that I mentioned earlier in the video uh, that I bought on eBay. So, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but there is the splines for the shaft. There is an extra wide spline in there, top and bottom, in order to key the steering wheel in. So that way you don't get it off by one spline or another. We'll go ahead and line that up properly. And uh, let's see, make sure we have it exactly correct. Again, you have to kind of wiggle the steering wheel to uh, get it on the shaft the same way you had to wiggle it to get it off. So there's that. And uh, let's go ahead and put the bolt in here. Now, as you're tightening this bolt, it's drawing the steering wheel onto the steering shaft. So you'll feel it pulling inward. There we go, that's nice and snug. Now we'll plug the, the control harness in. There we are. All right guys, little supplemental uh, bit of information for you here. So when you have the wheel off, this is the, the trim ring that would be on the steering wheel. And um, this is the, uh, the steering wheel, um, steering controls uh, ECU. And uh, this, this is the frame off of my uh, my new wheel, and this is the frame and harness uh, assembly from my old wheel. And um, I've been I've got the ECU steering wheel ECU unplugged because I was experimenting. The uh, the thumb wheels will not function uh, if you put another wheel on the car unless this ECU matches. And there is a like a a part number and then a serial or programming number here. And um, so you're going to have to make sure that you you have this steering wheel ECU in your new wheel, or you can just take your entire harness assembly uh, and uh, frame off the wheel. As I showed in this video, it's very easy to do. So I'll probably be shipping uh, steering wheels to customers without this. So you can remove this from your original wheel and put it on the new one to make sure all the electronics work because... This um, steering wheel ECU is specific. I don't know if it's to every car or if it's the fact that mine is an early car and maybe these other wheels I've gotten are from later versions. I don't know. But all I know is I tried um, three different steering wheel ECUs and only my factory original one would work in the car. So I'm switching this over to the new wheel now. And um, so next we'll put the airbag in. 
So there we go, that's plugged in. And uh, snap it back in place. There we are. And there we go, we're all done. New steering wheel installed and removed and installed. Uh, really an easy task. So go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer whatever I can. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye now.